Okay, so I'm here with um, Karen and Havian, and um, we're going to be talking about a few things from Karen's new album that's coming out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Yes. All right. So, Karen. Yes. Karen. Now, why now? Why? Why have to be now? Why? You said you get, uh, for the first lyrics of your lyric of your song. It's been a long time coming. Now, you know, where? Where? Why has it been a long time? Um, I think that in the music industry, one of the biggest, one of the, one of the biggest things that will either make you or break you is your timing. And I feel like. If I if I did this a while ago, I wouldn't have had I wouldn't have had the means, the resources, the energy. I wouldn't have had what I have now to go ahead and finish it off. And it's a hard task because there's times where we're in the studio and I'm like, oh my god, I just need to take a break, we need to stop, and it's time consuming, it's tiring. But at the end of the day, I know that I put all my effort into this one thing, which is the EP. And that's so basically that's that's why it's now now because I've just graduated and I have time. And I thought I want to take a break. I don't want to start full time work. So I'm like, this is my full time work. <laughs> <laughs> You've really worked hard for this, and someone else has worked really hard. Is yes, we have. <laughs> how did you How did you meet Hazian? How did you meet oh, Karen? Oh my Hazian? god. Well, well, it was through you actually. Yes. Well, you're the one that you mentioned it to me. Oh, was it? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but it wasn't. It wasn't until. Uh, we worked with B, uh, B, Baby Craze, and yes. yeah, we did a track, what was it called? Um, Who You Thinking About. Yeah, Who You Thinking About. And we, we had never actually met, he just sent the beat to me, and I did my track, sent it to him, and he edited it, and he was like, hey, this is pretty cool, and he just he ended up working, and I think after that it was just like, well, I loved his music, and he was like, hey, you know, you're alright, so we ended up working together. <laughs> Wow. What's it like working with Karen? Uh, very pleasant, actually. Uh, <laughs> pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> Any other adjectives? <laughs> pleasant. It's like a flower. <laughs> pleasant. <laughs> no, well, basically, um, I have no. I mean, we, we have great chemistry. You know, I she's really great to work with. Yeah. You, can t <laughs> you can tell by the music, yeah. 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 Well, you know, she doesn't oh, complain oh. as much as. Uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I guess, it's just very easy to work with. You know, we don't really get into fights or anything like I do with mm. some other people. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but basically, yeah, I think that's one of the key ingredients is just having that great chemistry. To work with uh, someone as, good, as talented as this guy. I think a lot of people out there are going to be wondering how good this track sounds. So I think for other producers out there, what was your inspiration for producing these tracks? Both of you, what, you, what was your inspiration? I think, uh, well, in my perspective, the music that he approached me with was a lot of classic R&B stuff that you can listen to time and time again. Like, I can listen to, you know, there's some R&B tracks that I love that I can still listen to now and be like, oh no, that was, that was like, at that time. Mm. Where there's some tracks like that you could just listen to now and be like, this is a classic, this is an R&B classic, so. And I think that's, we just based it on that we wanted, we wanted to be like, from its origin, we wanted to be true, real R&B. But we still did want to keep it kind of, you know, this, this time as well, so. It was a challenge, but I think my perspective is that. Mm. So. What what made you come up with the melody and the beats? Like, what did, what was your inspiration? Oh man, it comes from everywhere, really. You know, mm. not just like music. <clears throat> not from anywhere, really. Like, just listening to. Well, I listen to like a lot of old school stuff. You know, I listen to. I still listen to Luther Vandross and stuff. And, you know, I think it's basic, basically from my parents. You know, they sort of got me into this type of music. Mm. Um, but. Really, if it wasn't for, I just wanted to put this out because if it wasn't for um, one of my uncles, his name's Louis, he's just passed on. So, um, but if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out. And basically, my inspiration just comes from it everywhere, anywhere. You know, it could just come up the street, just listening to the train tracks, just going, sh -sh 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 -sh, you know, something like that. Um, just anywhere, everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Wow. 
see? That's that's awesome. And that's and it's basically you get inspiration from anything in everyday everyday things. And even your relatives, see? So it goes to show to keep in touch and keep good with your family. Anyway, look, I wish you all the best for this really great um, EP. And um, so you're going to have to be doing a lot of celebrating, you know, as more people hear this stuff. Because hearing it now, it's something I would just love to kick back to as well. I'm sure you all agree. Anyway, so thank you all once again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Go! Essay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will, but just relax. It's, it's, it's really nice.